Hello everyone, we are going to start with another lecture of performance management and in this lecture we are going to deal with the calculation side of life cycle costing of the product, right? So in, in life cycle costing, uh, if someone asks you to calculate cost per unit of the product, how you will calculate that? See in life cycle costing, cost per unit doesn't mean cost per unit of one year. It means cost per unit of the overall life of the product, right? So suppose this is the question. It's a very basic, very simple question, right? And in this question, let's start doing this. See, uh, this is the question. And uh, I mean, research and development cost is around two, uh, 2 million. Advertisement cost is 5 million. Both are one of cost. One of cost in the sense that these costs will occur one time. I mean, this is not a production related cost. So one time you have to make in research and development, one type one time you have to make an advertisement expenditure. I mean, advertisement expenditure can be on yearly basis, but right now it's for one year only. Production cost is expected to be $8 per unit. Fixed production cost is expected to be $10,000 units, uh, $10,000 per annum. Life of the product is 20,000 units, 20,000 units, uh, 20,000 units for year one and 40,000 units for year two. That means overall company will sell 60,000 units of the product, 20,000 in year one and 40,000 in year two and year three, there will be no life of the product. Now, first requirement is what? First requirement is you have to calculate life cycle cost of the product, right? Life cycle cost of the product means total cost for the whole life of the product and cost per unit, right? So let's start with this first and then we will look at part B, right? So life cycle cost of the product, uh, uh, for, for, the, for the first part, first of all, we need to consider one of cost, right? So research and development is a one of cost. It will cost, it, it's cost around 2 million. Advertisement cost is, uh, advertisement cost is around 500,000, right? So this is basically a cost which company will bear only once in this question. Now, what will be the production cost? See, production cost in this question is simple. We are assuming that how it doesn't matter how many units you are producing, overall cost will be around $8 per unit, right? But in some question, it may change. But right now, we are assuming $8 per unit for the whole life of the product. So what we have to do is we have to multiply this 8 with the, with the overall life, uh, with, with overall units. So variable variable cost will be what variable cost will be 8 times 60,000 right so 8 times 60,000 is uh, around 480,000 right and fixed cost will be what see there are two years right so fixed cost is 100,000 per annum so for two years this will be 200,000 100,000 times 2 so the total cost for the whole life of the product will be what? Uh, 2 million plus 500 plus 480 plus 200. It's going to be 3180, right? So overall cost is 3180 for the whole life of the product. And cost per unit will be what? 3180 and triple zero divided by simply number of units, right? Sorry. Divided by number of units, which are 60,000. So this will be 3180 divided by 60,000. It's going to be 53 per unit, right? So this is the cost per unit of the product, right? Now, that's the end of the first requirement. Now, what is the second requirement? If company wants to generate, if company wants to generate overall profit markup of 25%. I don't know if you guys remember this markup concept or not, but it's important in F5 to recall uh, all these things. I mean, you should be able to calculate what is markup and what is margin. So let me try to uh, make a quick recap. Markup means profit is based on cost, right? So in that case, we simply take 25% of the selling price. If the question says that the if the question says that look profit uh, markup is 25% then this means that prof sorry then this means that profit is 25% of cost right 
so company wants to generate overall profit markup of 25% means what company wants to generate profit of for 25% sorry profit of 25% on this 3180000 this is not 3180 this is 3180 and 1000 right so company wants to generate 25% profit on this 3.18 million right then cal uh, if company wants to generate overall profit markup of 25% then calculate selling price so what you are required to calculate you are required to calculate the selling price in the following situation considering that selling price will remain will, uh, same selling price will be charged throughout the life of the product i mean we don't want to we are not in a mood to change the selling price there is no need to change the selling price so we will charge an average selling price throughout the life of the product right this is something which we have to do first right so let's start with the first part we will do the second part later so first of all we need to identify that what will be the profit right so let's start with its b part let's start with its b part right b part says sorry in b part what is the requirement requirement says that you have to calculate 25 percent markup right so cost is what cost is three one eight zero and triple zero right and what will be the profit profit will be 25 percent on this cost so 25 percent of three one eight zero and triple zero right so 25 percent of three one eight zero and triple zero that is seven ninety five thousand so company has to generate a profit of seven ninety five thousand right so the sales revenue which company has to generate from this product is 3180 plus 795 that makes around 3975 3975 so this much revenue company has to generate now if you want to charge same selling price throughout the life of the product what you need to do is simply divide selling for selling price you just need to simply divide revenue with the quantity. So we need to generate three nine seven five thousand dollars from how many units? Sixty thousand units. So we will simply divide it with sixty thousand, and we will get the selling price divided by sixty thousand. So we will get sixty six point two five. So if you charge sixty six point two five dollars. If you charge sixty six point two five dollars per unit, then you will be able to generate profit of seven ninety five thousand, right? Now this is basically a simplest situation, but you know, uh, things may things may go wrong, right? And there are chances. I mean, in second question, what is the what is the situation in second part, right? Let's try to read this, and then we will discuss the situation. Now the second one says that company has to. We are done with the with this part right company has to decrease selling price by 10 percent in year two in order to compete in the market now the situation is a bit complicated situation is that whatever selling price you will charge in the first year in the second year in order to sell 40,000 units in order to sell these 40,000 units in order to sell these 40,000 units company has to reduce selling price by 10 percent now what is the what is the condition here condition is that company still wants to generate a profit of 25 percent company still wants to generate a profit of 25 percent but the problem is now but the problem is that whatever selling price company will charge for in the first year second year selling price is going to be its 90 percent now if we continue with the 66.25 what will happen is in the next year we have we will reduce selling price by 10 percent so we will not be able to generate this much revenue in uh, by by using this selling price 66.25 so what we have to do we have to do some other thing in order to in order to uh, in order to fulfill to both things in order to fulfill first condition first requirement to generate profit of 25 percent and the second requirement is to reduce selling price by 20 percent 10 percent so we have to do something we have to calculate selling price in such a manner that we will that we will that despite of the fact that we will reduce selling price by 10% in the second year we still 
generate profit of 795,000, right? So that is basically the problem here. Now, how we will solve this problem? This prob the solution is very simple. See, what we will do is, we what we have to do, we have to generate profit of, we have to generate profit of 795,000, right? And we have to generate a sales revenue of 395,000, 3975,000 for that. But the problem is that for this, if you want to, if we want to generate this profit, we have to reduce selling price by 10% in the second year, right? So what we can do is, see, I'm just writing a statement and uh, uh, let's try to solve this. I'm just writing a statement and try to understand this statement. See, for B part 2, sales revenue from in year 1 and sum of sales revenue is year 1 and sales revenue in year 2 should be equals to 3975 and 000 right this is basically something which we have to achieve that whatever revenue we will generate in year 1 and whatever revenue we will generate in year 2 sum of both sales revenues should be equals to 3975000 right this is basically we, we just wrote what is required from us. Now, see, sales revenue is what? Sales revenue is the multiple of selling price and sales volume. Right? Sales revenue is what? Multiple of selling price and sales volume. We know what is the sales volume of year 1. Sales volume of year 1 is 20,000. Sales volume of year 2 is 40,000. So, these things we know. The problem is we don't know the selling price and that's what we have to calculate. So let's assume that selling price of year 1 is X. We are assuming that selling price of year 1 is X. So what will, what will be the selling price of year 2? Selling price of year 2 will be 90% of first year selling price because we have to reduce selling price by 10% in year 2. So in year 2, selling price will be 90% of year 1 selling price. That means 90% of X, which is actually equals to 0 0.9 of X. Right. So what we can write now is, see, sales revenue of year 1 means what? Selling price multiplied by sales volume. The selling price of year 1 is X and sales volume of year 1 is 20,000 units. So selling price multiplied by sales volume. This is the revenue of year 1 plus what is the selling price of second year? 0 0.9X. So plus 0 0.9X of uh, multiplied by the selling price of year 2 selling price of year sorry sales volume of year 2 sales volume of year 2 is 40000 so this is 40000 is equals to 3975 and 000 right so this is basically a condition which we wrote that what we don't know what is the selling price but selling price of year 1 is x selling price of year 2 is 0.9x so if you multiply these two figures, if you multiply these two figures, you will get selling price, you will get revenue of year 1. If you multiply these two figures, you will get the revenue of year 2, right? So, so this equation, we are going, we can solve selling price by using this equation, right? So, the only thing which we need to do here is, is to calculate the value of x, right? So, let's write the calculation of x. This will be 20,000 of x plus uh, 0 0.9 into 40, 40 into 0.9, sorry, 40 into 0.9 is 36. So 36,000 of x should be equals to 3975 and triple zero, right? So 20 and 36 is uh, 56,000 x. 3975 and triple zero. 
So x will be equals to what in this case? Uh, 3975 triple 0 divided by 56,000. 70.98. If you charge 70.98 per unit in year 1, you will be able to you will be able to achieve both the targets first target is you will generate a sales revenue of uh, 3975000 and the second target was that you will you 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 will be in a position to reduce selling price by 10% if you uh, if you really want to prove this what you can do is you can put this 79.98 in this equation and solve it, you will get this answer. And it's, it's simple math. So what is X representing? X is the selling price of year 1. And that is 70.98. And this, what will be the selling price of year 2? Selling price of year 2 will be 0.9X. So that will be equals to... Uh, 70.98 times 0 0.9 63.988 right so this is basically how you can how you can solve this question I mean uh, we discussed three things first is how to calculate total cost Sorry, first thing is uh, how to calculate uh, total cost, right? Second is how to calculate selling price if you are charging same selling price throughout the life of the product and how to calculate selling price if you want to charge multiple selling prices throughout the life of the product. Let me give you, uh, let me give you another example, right? We are doing, we are, I'm just trying to tell you how to make this equation because this equation is very important. See, suppose... Suppose total cost, sorry, suppose total cost is around, sorry, total cost is around 5 million. Right, let me correct the posture, I think something wrong. All right, total cost is 5 million and the profit we want to charge is around uh, 1 million that means what that means we have to charge 6 million revenue from the customer right this is the sales revenue which we have to charge now suppose someone told you that look sales volume sales volume in year 1 will be 10,000 units sales volume in year 2 will be around 30,000 units and sales volume in year 3 will be around, uh, what, uh, let's say, uh, 5,000 units. And someone says that, look, what we don't know what will be the selling price you, you are going to charge in first year. But in second year, we can increase selling price by 20%. We can increase selling price by 20%. And in third year, we will reduce, we will reduce selling price by uh, let's say 40 percent so if we do this we will be able to achieve these sales volume right i'm not going to the science of how how to do that but i mean i mean how selling increase in selling price will increase the sales volume i'm not doing do, doing that part i'm just doing the calculation part how you will make the equation in this case because there are three years see it's simple we have to assume that selling price of year 1 will be X. Selling price of second year will increase by 20%. So that will be 1.2X. Sorry. That will be 1.2X. 120% of X. And in third year, second selling price will reduce by 40%. Now don't write 0 0.8 here. Whatever the selling price is in second year, third year selling price will be its 40%. So we will take 40% of 1.2x. So 1 point, sorry, 1.2 times 40% is, sorry, 1.2 
times 80 percent because selling price will reduce by 40 percent so we will uh, it will be left by 60 percent sorry so multiply by 0.6 yes 0.72 right so the first year selling price is x the second year selling price is 120 percent of x and the third year selling price will be 60 percent of second year selling price right now let's make the equation what will be the equation equation will be 10,000 of x plus 30,000 into 1.2 x plus 5,000 into 0.72 x should be equals to what 6 million right this will be the equation and you just solve it for x and if you solve it for x you will get the selling uh, the initial launch uh, selling price of the product right so that's the end of this video in the next video we will do uh, one question of life cycle of life cycle of the product right till then have a nice day Allah Hafiz.